All right, you guys, welcome back. You know what time it is. It has been 25 days since I started these things. The Inmate Brews, you guys saw me make this one here, the All Grape. So now it's time to test them. Um, these two are pretty much done. The Cranberry Cocktail I made has still got a little bit of bubbling going on. You can still see it'll blip every once in a while, but I figured I might as well taste it with the rest of the others. They've all been sitting the same amount of time, so... Um, We'll give it a taste test, and then uh, as a couple days go by, I'll you know taste it again. And if it tastes different, I'll be sure to post another video and update you guys as to how it went. So, without further ado, here we go. We're going to start with the apple. Um, the reason it looks like this is I needed to pull the airlock off of it um, because it was actually starting to pull water into uh, into here. So I wanted to make sure that it stayed clean, and also I needed the airlock. Uh, for another video for the oatmeal stout, which I'm sure you guys already saw. In the future pourings, I'm going to be siphoning it out so that way I don't get any of the stuff on the top or any of the uh, junk there, but hopefully I won't get too much of it this time just to taste it. I like my fancy inmate brew glasses. Smells very strong. Oh, cheers. It's not too bad. Well, that's not too bad at all. It's um it's pretty dry. It actually has a little bit of a bread taste to it. Um, I don't know if that's a bread byproduct of the yeast or if um or if it's from the table sugar. The sugar, you can tell, added a... It sort of changed the apple taste of it a bit. That's not too bad. If you were to imagine a... Um, just like any alcoholic cider, I would think. Um, but a little bit less body. It is a little bit... Um, uh, light. It's not too bad. You can definitely tell these are strong. <laughs> All right, so now we'll try the grape we made. This is the 100% um, uh, grape juice. Um, and this was uh, what we added, um, the cup of sugar to. But with this one, we added the champagne yeast. Um, you guys can see here, there's still pressure there. So I have not opened this. I'm for real trying these for the first time here with you guys. Down it goes. And I did notice, and uh, this is one reason why I was so quick to uh, pull the airlock off of the uh, the apple there. I noticed that as it sat and as it was finished, the uh, it was like a suction was being created, and it pulled the uh, the water up and started to, you know, like I said, it almost crested and went into there. So. If any of you guys out there know what that phenomenon is called, feel free to post it in the comment section down there somewhere. Um, my guess is that it would be that the carbon dioxide in here is getting absor being absorbed into the uh, liquid. Uh, but I'm not a scientist. I do not know. I liked science in high school, but we really didn't get into brewing. Wish we would have. It would have been a lot more fun. <laughs> Cheers. I keep forgetting that. Wow. Okay. You definitely get a much... much stronger fruit flavor in this one. You can very much taste the grape. Um, but the alcohol of it kind of takes... takes your breath really quickly. I'm going to have to be careful by the end of these tastings here. I'm going to fall off my chair. Yeah, it's, um, it again, it's got a very dry taste to it. Um, it's light in body. 
Um, it's very, very strong. It's very potent. Like I said, it kind of got me right here. It just <laughs> but though it's not very sour. Um, yeah, it's not really... It's sour, um, but it, it's not ov overly sour. It's a bit bitter. Um, that's pretty good. Mm. All right. And here we go. This is the Cranberry Juice Cocktail. Like I said, this one, I can tell, isn't quite done. It is still bubbling on the inside enough to make this burp. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and test it just to see, one, what it tasted like, and, and two, kind of compare it with these, as they've all been sitting, like I said, 25 days. So, here we've got a Cranberry Juice Cocktail. This is the one that was not all juice. Um, it was 27% uh, juice. I do believe. Yeah, 27% juice, and we added the cup of sugar to it. Um, this is the one that made all the foam in the earlier videos, um, if you saw those. And uh, so here we go. Cheers. <laughs> hmm, this is what, huh. Uh, this is, we made this one with the bread yeast, actually, and, um, it almost tastes like pomegranates. This one is a lot sweeter than the other two. Um, I, I would be 100% sure that it's because it's not done fermenting, but it is actually quite good right now. Um, like I said, it tastes like pomegranates. It's got a little bit of that, um, sweet bitterness to it. Uh, the sweet and the bitter are actually balanced out pretty good. Um, the bread yeast, I couldn't, I don't taste any, uh, any of that, that bready type flavor that I had in the apple. Um, this is actually really, really good. Pomegranate is one of my, um, it's probably my favorite fruit. So, this uh, gets thumbs up, definitely. Very interesting science. <laughs> um, so like I said, as this one continues to finish up, uh, as if, next time I taste it, if it ends up tasting different, I will be sure to post a video and let you all know um, how it turned out. Uh, I think I'll let the grape set for another day or two. Um, it had a bubble every once in a while. It, it wasn't nearly as active as the uh, cranberry juice cocktail. Uh, but the apple's going to go in the fridge. Um, it's definitely done. Uh, so, thank you guys for tuning in and for the tasting here. Um, I've got um, the final installment of the making of the oatmeal brew coming up soon, as soon as it... Uh, as soon as it's ready to bottle, we'll make a bottling video, and then I'll do a tasting of that um, so you can see the whole process through. And let's see, we've got another brewing video coming up. I've got an Edme kit right here in my brewing corner. I've got the Edme microbrewery series English IPA. We're going to be giving this one a try. Um, if any of you guys have brewed this one, feel free, again, comment down below. Let me know how it went for you. Um, the instructions on this one were a bit vague, and uh, I'm not sure how hoppy this extract is. Um, I don't want the beer to get covered up. You know, I, being an IPA, I don't want it to get covered up with adding the malt extract, the dried malt that I bought for it. Um, so I purchased, in addition, another ounce of hops to add um, and boil in to increase the hoppiness if it warrants it. I don't know. Um, I can't find many reviews on it online. So if you guys let, know anything, let me know. That'd be great. So, um, until next time, cheers. We'll be uh, seeing you guys around. Thanks again for watching. Oh, and if you uh, like my videos, feel free to comment, rate, and, and subscribe. Um, and as always, I do try to um, contact everyone that contacts me. If you send me a message, I'll get back to you. Or if you have any questions, I'm uh, I'll help in the best way that I can. I think that these are kicking in. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Have a good one.